All right, everybody, it's Prowl, Minecraft Bedrock Guide 1.21, back in the house. And today I told you guys that we we're going to be working here. Well, I lied. Kind of. Uh, Blue Jay actually told me that he wanted to do some trial chamber stuff. And you know what? I think that makes a whole lot of sense. Update 1.21 is still new and fresh, and not a lot of people know a whole lot of things about the trial chamber. And I've gotten to do a couple trial chamber runs. We did one on my opening weekend of my server, opening day of my server. It was the most fun thing I've ever done in Minecraft. It was absolutely amazing. So I want to share that with you guys by showing you how to do trial chambers today with Blue Jay. But first, before Blue Jay gets on, hopefully he's not going to be on it too long. Um, I want to show you guys exactly how you can find a trial chamber in the first place. And for that, we're going to use a villager. And the villager we need is going to require this, the cartography table. Pretty easy to make. Four planks, two pieces of paper. I don't know if I have the paper in here. I do. It's right here. Super duper easy. There we go, get some planks, and and there it is, the cartography table. I don't know if we're gonna have to do a lot of these or not, but we know where our village is, but something happened to our village, unfortunately. I'll explain to you once we get there. Okay, here we are, back at our village, and you may notice something. Our villagers that we set up, they're, they're gone. Prowl, where did they go? Well, uh, we needed to trim the world, for 1.21 coming out you trim your world by deleting the old chunks from the world that you don't need anymore that way they can generate as new chunks and new features can appear in them so trial chambers are a new feature if we wanted them to be close by in the world like a new like 1.21 world would be we have to delete the old chunks that we're not using to let new ones generate and those trial chambers generate in and unfortunately, I forgot to tell Blue Jay that I used this village before we did that. So the stuff I've done here, it's gone. Um, it's not a big deal. We can we could pretty easily get it back if we need to. Or honestly, some other things we're going to do are going to be better for us anyways. So what I am going to do right now is do what we did before. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of all the profession blocks. And then when I get back, we'll hopefully have a cartographer. Okay, I think I got rid of enough of them. Let's sit this down. And there there's something that I don't know. And we're going to find it out here together. Does every cartographer give us the map that we need? Or are we going to have to go through a lot of cartographers to find it? Like there's a map right there. Um, I didn't plan on the fact that I was going to have to trade with this guy first. Um, I guess we're going to need to get some emeralds. And there we go. A few trades later, trial explorer map is here. It needs a compass, which requires redstone and iron. Neither of which I have right here, so I, I got to go back to base. Okay, and we're back, Mr. Cartographer. Can I please have a Trial Explorer map? Now, the Cartographer, he sells a lot of different kind of maps, and maybe we'll do an episode on him or maybe go on some adventures with some of his maps. But for now, we just want the Trial Explorer map. And then when I go and I open this map, it's going to show me where a trial chamber is. Now, you see that to find this trial chamber, I want to go this direction. You can see that little peg, I guess I'll call it, on the top right-hand corner of my map. That's the, oh, and actually here, let me make my map bigger. There we go. That peg on the top right-hand side of my map, that's me. When I turn it, it moves, right? So I know that I want to keep going in this direction until I get my peg on this map. And then that little square in the bottom left-hand corner of the map that's the trial chamber. That's where we want to go. That's where the adventure will begin. Blue Jay! What? Blue Jay, hey! Hello? What do you want? Hi. I made Don't it. Don't cross that line. Don't. What? what? Stay out. Why? This is the no prowl zone. Oh, so if I go no. over the line, I've I've crossed the no prowl zone? Yes. Okay, well, I guess I just won't oh go over it. Oh my gosh. Look, I made, I even made a path you've for already, us. You've already vandalized my iron farm. You've already caused a workplace accident at my gold farm. <sighs> that was, that you was not cool. Out. Okay. Anyways, anyways, you'll be seeing a lot more of me because I made a path here. Um, so, I love this. So I love it. So you said you wanted to go do a trial chamber. And yes, sir. I think it's a really fun idea to teach our, to teach our peeps about trial chambers and maybe even learn even more about them ourselves. I have yep. something for us. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. You ready to go, you got buddy? an explorer map. Oh. Yeah. So I got us a trial Very explorer nice. map. 
it takes us like that way. Did you already, you already did some trial chambers in the world, right? Did you? I did a couple, but don't tell anybody. I pruned the world so we could potentially do the same ones again, but <laughs> okay. we, we haven't done this one. The one I did was over way, 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 way that, that way. way. Okay. Yeah. I figured oh, if yeah. I figured the one this way, I figured you probably didn't go out there. Okay. Well, what do you say we head out? Dude, let's go. All right, Blue Jay, before we head out, couple mm -hmm. of things i don't i don't know what kind of i don't know if you were smart enough to bring supplies you are a bird brain after all so there's so there's some wood and some coal so we can make torches if we need to i don't know i don't even know if we oh are you aiming at me good thing no good, good thing that's an infinity bow you'll probably shoot like over that way somewhere <laughs> ah, see you miss <laughs> okay i did that on purpose just so, check my footage something else something else since yes. we're going to a trial chamber and Man, you got some nice netherite gear there. It's probably all fully mm -hmm. enchanted, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I want you to possibly die as much as me. So here you go. Uh, unenchanted diamond gear. That's what you're going to use. <clears throat> all right. Campfire. And it doesn't oops, it doesn't does, it doesn't burn in a campfire. It, just imagine it burning. I'll just sit here for five minutes and it'll burn eventually. Break. Put the gear on. That's what you're wearing in the trial chamber, sir. I didn't agree to this. I, I know you didn't, but guess what? The viewers are going to now demand it. So that's kind of how this works. Oh, God. He's doing it again. <laughs> it would be so easy, Prowl. Do it. I dare you. <laughs> Not back. All right, let's go. All right, Blue Jay and I are here. He's got the map there in hand as he eats some chicken in the middle of the ocean. That's kind of an odd thing to happen. And it's tasty. Trout. Yes. Wet chicken is amazing. Um, and unfortunately, trial chambers don't always spawn in an easy place to get to. You follow the map, you get on top of the little square I showed you earlier, and then you, you dig straight down. That's basically all you can do. And unfortunately for us, we have to dig straight down into water and hopefully not drown in the process. Let's go. Your next step is to dig straight down all the way to deep slate layers of the world, which is where the trial chambers are buried. Now, once inside, my biggest suggestion for you is set up a little safe base camp for yourself. Have a double chest to dump anything you don't absolutely need to have on you because you're going to pick up a lot of stuff in the chambers and then place a bed to set your spawn point. I like to do this to the side of the chamber so I can just walk right in rather than doing it on top of the chamber where I have to drop into it. Now, while going through these trial chambers, Blue Jay and I have both learned a lot of very interesting and useful information about them that we would like to share, some of which many people don't even know about yet. And we have also found some great ways to defeat them without dying and making it really easy for yourself. But with those trials of ours, definitely came some errors along the way. So while you watch some of this footage in the background of us doing the chambers, I'm going to give you some useful information about the chambers and what is inside of them so you know about all of the amazing things that you can get and how they work. Uh, Blue Jay and I also did some explainers as we played, and maybe we had a few tough times along the way that I'll share with you as I go through everything here as well. Now, as far as the trial chamber itself is concerned, it's made of copper and tough blocks, which look really amazing. A lot of people may even go through and just like excavate the entire trial chamber just to get all the blocks, which is really cool. We're not going to worry about that here today. Um, the trial chamber is made of different layouts and different rooms filled with spawners, vaults, pots, barrels, chests and traps. So you're going to have a lot of different things to see in the trial chamber as you go through. Um, these trial chambers are put together in kind of like random pieces. So no two trial chambers should really look exactly alike. There's a lot of different variations of them and some are big, some are small. So it's always a cool, interesting, unique experience. Now, the main attraction inside of these trial chambers is the trial spawner. The breeze who we'll see in a little bit, he's going to shoot air out and it's going to knock you around and press the buttons and then shoot the arrows out of here. Ow! <laughs> There's a bog. We got bogged and we got breeze. Let's go. The two you can new break, mobs in this update. You could yes, you could break the you could break the spawner or the um so first of all, you should know if you try to mine it, it will break, but you cannot obtain it or move it. So once you break it, it's broken forever. So general like spawner rules apply. Don't break the spawners. It's against the rules break the buttons and then the breeze can't hit them and then oh ooh, okay <laughs> oh god there's so many as i was saying this gets very chaotic very quickly if you're not careful now these trial spawners generate in chambers and corridors in the trial chambers and can be at all sorts of different levels so you have to make sure to look around for them very well now these do work a lot different than mob spawners to activate one you do have to be within 14 blocks 
and you have to have line of sight to the spawner. You have to be able to physically see it. It has to be able to physically see you. Now, these spawners do spawn a variety of different mobs, and you can tell what type of mob it's going to spawn based on the blocks that are around the spawner. You can see that on the graphic on screen right now. Now, it will spawn more mobs the more players that are in the area. Most of the spawners are going to spawn six mobs and then two additional mobs per additional player. But again, I have another graphic on the screen right here that'll show you all the different variations of that. Now, once you defeat the spawner, which means it's spawned all of its mobs and you've killed all of the mobs that that spawner has spawned, it will give loot to any player detected within its range. Now, what I'm not sure of is I don't know if it if range means line of sight, if range means you just have to be within 14 blocks. Um, and I believe it to be you have to just be within range of the spawner anytime, like while it's actually active. So. I think that's how it works. There's not a lot of really good information about this out there. And whenever we go to make a farm out of these later, we'll actually go through and test a lot of these things just to make sure that we understand how it works more clearly. As far as the loot's concerned, it does have its own like loot table that's on screen now for you, but it has a 50% chance to drop a trial key, which is used to open vaults. And then there's a 50% chance of it to drop a variety of other items that you see listed here. Then next up is what those trial keys go to, which is the vault, which, What's the gift? Are you ready? Yeah. It's a sword to the face. Ah! Just kidding. All right, here you go. Two Ooh, trial keys. Trial keys. So trial keys open up vaults. The vault also will break when mined and cannot be moved or obtained. So don't break it. Vaults are chests that are, well, they're kind of like chests that are player specific. I can open a vault. And then Blue Jay can open up that same vault, but neither one of us can open it up a second time. Once you open it once, that's it. All right, I'll let you go first, Blue Jay. All right, here we go. Let's see what he gets. Arrows. Some arrows, some iron. Iron. That's it. Okay, let's see what I get. That's okay. Ooh, a music disc. Oh, you got a music disc. And honey bottles and an Ooh. ominous potion. Ominous potion. Okay, that's good. So first of all, music disc is precipice. Yes, that's the good one. Now, as you can see by the loot table that I have here on screen, the vaults do have a lot better loot table, a lot better. They do give a lot better loot than the spawners do. And one of those pieces of loot is an ominous bottle. Now, we're not going to do anything with this ominous bottle yet, but the ominous bottle will allow us to re-trigger these guys right away with harder mobs to fight and better rewards at the end. Now, ominous bottles can be obtained either from vaults or you can get them as well by killing pillager captains. So no longer when you kill pillager captains, do you get the bad omen effect? Now you get ominous potions from them as well, ominous bottles from them as well. Um, you can only drink ominous bottles. You can't like change it into a splash potion or anything like that. There's no way to automatically dispense it on yourself. You have to drink it. So any trial chamber spawner that we come across will immediately transform into an ominous spawner and give us better loot okay but also harder mobs so do we want to go find the first room that we were in because that one i think had the most spawners and yeah, i think it's we're like, gonna get the biggest like biggest, three or four uh, of them there, I think. there okay let's do it now what's the difference between an ominous spawner and a regular trial spawner well for an ominous spawner mobs that are able to wear stuff think skeletons and um zombies that sort of thing um, they will spawn with armor and weapons. Sometimes those armor and weapons will be enchanted. And also they do not drop the gear that they carry and they can pick up gear that you drop. And unfortunately they won't give it back. And this is a bug that me and Blue Jay encountered and it was not a fun one to, to deal with here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it over here. So at least there's a, a method of escape. <laughs> no, you don't need an escape. It's fine. Okay, do it. Let's go. <laughs> Here they come. Blue Jay's so dead. He's so dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm going to do it over here. So at least there's a, a method of escape. A method of escape. Of escape. Escape. No, you don't need an escape. It's fine. Whoopsie. <laughs> I forgot I don't have enchantments. You gave me garbage armor. Oh, God, he's strong. Uh oh, that guy has my diamond sword. Come get um, him. I I don't have a lot of health. 
I hope this bug does not take the diamond sword from me. If it does, I'm going to, yep, it's gone. <laughs> it, all my stuff is gone. And technically all your stuff is gone. No! Because you gave me all of the stuff. <gasps> no, my infinity bow. Ah, yes, I got rid of it. That was the plan all along. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Run away, Prowl! Oh, no, he caught me! Hey, Prowl, you're dead. I'll try to keep them away from your stuff as best as I can. Yeah, I don't have backup stuff. I got I got protection gear right now, and I'm doing okay, but I'm about I'm about to not be okay. Um, they're guarding the entrance! I can't get <laughs> <They're so> <laughs> They're all by the entrance! They're camping! It's I'm not sure what to do here. I need to eat. <laughs> no! Oh, that's not good. That's all my netherite gear, too. I don't want them to have netherite. They just, they just took all of my netherite armor. We are so dead. Ooh. I'm running. I'm I running. just lost my entire set of gear, including my my trimmed armor. Oh, I, I picked a lot of it up. Okay, please. Oh, please, please, I see. Please. Uh, nope. There's one that's got a, a chest piece, and there's one that has a helmet. Dang of it. Trimmed stuff. Basically, th these guys were killing Blue Jay and me with Blue Jay's Netherite gear. And once we killed them, we didn't get it back. So all of his stuff was gone. And then there's mobs that can't wear gear. Think things like slimes, breeze, silverfish, etc. Um, spiders, instead of having like enhanced versions of those, you just get double the amount of them. Now, on top of that, to make these um, ominous spawners even harder, they do spawn projectiles every eight seconds. And each spawner has a set of two different projectiles that will spawn. And that projectile actually displays over top of the spawner before it drops it. I think it gives you like a two second warning before it drops it of what's about to drop on you. Um, also, these ominous spawners do have a better loot table and you can get the ominous trial key, which is used for opening ominous vaults. Now, first of all, ominous vaults are, are actually different than regular vaults. You don't just have the ominous effect or have an ominous key and it makes a regular vault an ominous vault. They're, they're a totally different vault and you'll usually find a few of them throughout the trial chamber that you're in. Uh, they're located in slightly different areas than regular vaults are. Uh, they also look different than regular vaults do too. I'll put two images on screen right now so you can kind of see what they look like against each other. Now, ominous vaults can only be opened by that ominous key and ominous vaults have a lot better loot than regular vaults do. And in fact, not only is all of the loot in them a lot better, uh, but you can get some pretty rare things, including the heavy core, which is a piece that you need to craft the new weapon. The mace can only be found here. Also, the only thing that could be found here is the wind burst enchantment, which is a special enchantment for the mace. So you do have some things that you can only get this way in the game. And there's a whole bunch of other interesting good things you can get here too. anything from like enchanted golden apples to new armor trim blocks of diamonds, like a lot of really cool and useful things can be found in the ominous vaults. And now here's the big thing. Now you know about these things. You kind of know like what they are, what they do, generally how they work. But doing ominous vaults are not incredibly easy. If you're really good at PvE, you could probably handle them okay. Although if you move around too much in a room that has a lot of ominous spawners in it, you're going to find that you're going to get yourself in trouble really quick and you may end up dying as a result of that. Even with like top tier uh, netherite gear like fully enchanted and that kind of thing so you got to be really careful and blue jay and i have found out some pretty interesting strategies for doing these ominous spawners that actually makes them a lot easier to do so um after some trials and tribulations and losing all of our armor to a bug uh me and blue jay are deciding to take the ominous chain the ominous spawners a little bit smarter this time explain our experiment there blue jay well, we're not going to Leroy Jenkins this this time because that's a really <laughs> bad idea, I have found out. But trial chamber spawners actually have to have line of sight in order to activate. So what we're thinking we're going to do is block off each of the spawners one at a time so that we only have to take on one at a time. Yeah, what we don't know, though, is will will that work? Because technically it works or right? 
Or do we at least have to give a little bit more effort and do something like this? Or will it not work at all? Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I don't either. Um, I'm hoping We're for gonna our sake. We're going to find out. Yeah, I'm hoping for our sake it works, because if not, this could get really rough really quick. Was there any more? It was just those three. Yeah, here's oh. one right here. Here's okay. one right here. And then uh, there's one right here at the, the entrance, which we, you know, obviously have to leave one open, right? Yeah, but maybe we don't. And then we'll we'll break a block and see if it turns it on. This will be our <laughs> first ex our first experiment. All right. Um, all right. Let's get over to this one. Um, I don't think we have anything behind us this way. So I'm going to drink the potion. It's a bad omen, too. Okay. Um, okay. So you got okay. the effect. Yeah, and it's not doing anything. Fantastic. And then if we do this, look, it activated. Oh, oh dude. Oh. That's that's the trick right there. Oh, Our lives Ooh. just got so much easier. Oh, I just hit you. I'm going to separate. That's okay. That's okay. I'm really sad that it cost me a full set of netherite gear to learn this lesson, but oh. you know what? I'm glad to do it for you guys, so you don't have to. Oh, hey, it would help if I hit them with a sword and not a pickaxe. Uh, Yeah, that would probably help. Ooh, I picked right, up looks that like steak. we got food that time. No trial keys. Okay. So That's now right. we can just pop this. Yep. And take Look. it one by one. Look, it still can't see me. <gasps> That's great. What Is if it stand on top of it? Ah! Yep. Run away. <laughs> All right. I got my bow ready. I think this one's a breeze. Oh. Uh, well. Huh? Yep, they're there. Now, later on, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can figure out some like more ways that we can make it even more efficient to do these ominous spawners. Um, we'll probably explore that whenever we get to the point of actually making a farm out of one of these, like a whole vault. We'll probably make a farm out of an entire vault. At that point, we can go through and more uh, precisely test like mechanics and see exactly how it works. See if we can get the uh, mobs only spawn in one spot and that sort of thing to really make doing these ominous spawner runs a lot easier but at least with the block and line of sight method just on its own should make things a lot more safer for anybody that wants to try them man were those trial chambers incredibly fun to do i hope you guys enjoyed that um i have a surprise for you next episode we won't go over it a lot but we will be playing with it i just downloaded this brand new resource pack that adds in a lot of cool animations that I think are really amazing. Look at this. This is so cool. It's just a resource pack. It doesn't disable um, achievements. You don't have to have your server administrator or realm person put it on. Like you could just run it locally on your world and it'll make all of your animations look really cool. Mobs and everything else. Super neat. I'm not going to talk more about that now. You'll see a little bit more about it in the next episode. But let me know, what do you guys think of the trial chambers? How did raids go? What more are you looking to see about the trial chambers? Do you want to see a trial chamber farm happen and all those sorts of things too? I appreciate you guys watching today. Make sure you click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And be sure to catch my live streams. I do think me and Blue Jay are going to be doing a live stream together pretty soon here, doing a trial chamber run. Maybe by the time that this video comes out, that's already happened. But you'll see us do a lot of collaborative live streams together that will be pretty cool, pretty fun, pretty awesome. Um, my live streams happen here on YouTube. And you can also follow me on twitch.tv slash prowl8413. So make sure to drop me a follow. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.